It's race day once again, and we're moments away from lights out and the all-important sprint towards turn one. Welcome to another Formula One Grand Prix. We're on the French Riviera once more this weekend at the two mile long Circuit de Monaco. The cars will climb around 40 meters up the hill, past the casino, and then descend downwards towards the harbor through sector two. It's a very short run from pole position to the first of the 19 corners at Sandevot. And don't expect to see much overtaking here today. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Perez, Lewis Hamilton and Norris. Bottas, Fernando Alonso, Raikkonen and Esteban Ocon, Ricardo, Giovinazzi, George Russell and Fettel, Gasly, Stroll, Nikita Mazepin and Yuki Tsunoda, Latifi and Mick Schumacher. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. move.
Okay, you're in the top ten. race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. They've done it then. They've won here in Monaco with an emphatic performance and a victory they can be proud of for years to come. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Here come our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. Charles Leclerc's points today take him to the top of the championship standings. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Mick Schumacher gets my vote today. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.